Who does KSI fight next? Ladies and gentlemen, friends, families, fornicators, Joe Fournier's, and the frozen one, Tyron Woodley. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Logan Helm YouTube channel. Once again, we're going to be answering the question, who does KSI fight next on Misfits 006 or maybe 007? Now, there are two big candidates that everybody knows for KSI to fight next, and that is the frozen one, Tyron Woodley, and Joe Fournier, 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 ah, Joe Fournier, that's it, good old Joe Fournier, yes, the man who no one knew the name of before KSI started talking about him. Will KSI fight one of these guys, or will he fight both of them, or will he maybe not even fight either of them? Well, I'm here to answer those questions, along with who would actually win in those fight scenarios. Let's start off with scenario one, KSI versus Tyron Woodley. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this fight I've been saying for so long is the worst matchup for KSI that he can possibly have. And the reason for that is because his main nemesis, the guy he's working towards to fight, aka Jacob Paul, has already fought Tyron Woodley and knocked him out clean, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you're probably thinking, yeah, but that doesn't mean anything. Jake had two fights with Woodley to knock him out. But here's the deal. KSI is trying to catch up to Jake now, okay? If KSI scrapes by on points against Woodley, well, Jake knocked him out, so Jake Paul better. Okay, well, if KSI knocks out Woodley, then what? Oh, well, Jake already knocked him out, so who cares? And if, God forbid, somehow, if Tyron Woodley beats KSI, it is it is over, bro. Because <laughs> Jake already beat him twice, and you can't even beat him once. That is a little crazy. Yeah. But who actually wins this fight? Well, let's look at both of their fighting styles to determine who would actually win in a boxing match. Because as everybody knows, styles make fights. Now, Tyron Woodley's style is... A little unorthodox and kind of strange. He doesn't throw many punches at all. He is not a volume puncher. He waits and waits and looks for the one knockout punch. For me, this all depends if KSI can beat Woodley using boxing skill. He needs to evade Woodley's punches and use volume punching to really beat Woodley. If KSI can successfully pull off in and out fighting against Woodley, he will probably either win on points or get a late finish maybe an early finish if he really goes for it but i know ksi uh yeah personally we're actually best friends and i know that he is not going to want to just scrape by on points he's going to want a devastating knockout on tyron woodley and to do this i actually think ksi is going to be fighting woodley more so how he did uh pineda and swarms and less how he did against phase temper where he's just going to be sticking the jab out, moving forward, and trying to hit Woodley with one of those big swings, whether it's an overhand, an uppercut, or a left hook, because KSI really excels in those three punches, in my opinion. Who do I think wins this fight between KSI and Tyron Woodley? I think KSI wins. Even with a full training camp, I don't think Woodley just has what it takes to put down KSI, uh, especially if he can't even put down Jake Paul. I think KSI would knock out Woodley in probably rounds three to eight. I know that's a very, very big margin for error um, and a very broad, <laughs> a very broad prediction. But I could honestly see it happening at any point within those rounds. But what if KSI doesn't want to fight Tyron Woodley? What if KSI wants to fight a 9-0 professional boxer, Joe Fournier. On YouTube, his footage is actually quite heavily copyright protected, and also it's just weirdly difficult to find videos of him boxing. I'm not really sure why, it just is. So I might have some footage playing here, or it might just be some slideshows of Joe's face. But if we move on to Joe's fighting ability... A big difference between him and Woodley is output. Joe Fournier goes for output. Now, there is chinks in the armor. Joe Fournier is a lot slower than Woodley. 
he just doesn't have the natural punch speed of Tyrell Woodley or KSI or even a Jake Paul, as a matter of fact. His punches are a bit slower. However, he hits hard. He hits very hard and his output is high. When he fights, he's constantly pushing his opponents into the corners of the ring and unloading on them. In order for KSI to beat Joe Fournier, he's not going to have to outbox him. He's going to have to fight him because Joe's just too good at boxing at this point. Now, I'm not saying he's better at boxing than KSI, but he's had more experience, a longer training camp in general, and he looks pretty good on his fight videos. I think Joe Fournier is probably better than Tommy Fury, as a matter of fact, because Tommy only fights bums and can't handle when someone gets close to him, and Joe seems to be able to handle when someone gets close to him. KSI, if he was to fight Joe Fournier, would definitely need to utilize his speed and punching power. He would need to get in, throw, just beat Joe to the punch every time. Joe throws a jab, KSI dodges, throws a jab instead. That kind of thing. Joe Fournier is going to try and outbox KSI, which is not a good thing for KSI. But how do I see KSI's next fight going in general? Well, I think he fights Joe Fournier and wins on points. That's honestly what I think is going to happen. But if he was to fight Woodley, I think he wins by knockout anywhere in the later rounds. Thanks for watching, kids and cadets. It's been your boy, Logan Hallam. Remember to twerk on that like button.